Chances are you've paid fines for an overdue library book sometime in your life. Critics say those fines keep kids away, which impacts love of reading. Tonight, Ericetta Cost reports on a local library that's eliminating fines for children and teens. Greg Benoit, director at Irondequoit Library, says this idea has been months in the making, inspired by a nationwide trend. It's to remove fines on overdue books for children and teens. There's a few reasons for this that have been exacerbated with the pandemic, starting with less visitors. We've determined that one of the largest factors in people deciding no longer to use the library is if they have late fees. 35 cents a day may not sound like a lot, but consider families with three or four children or those homeschooled who may be checking out dozens of books at a time. Benoit says the pandemic has been exposing concerns of equity and families struggling to make ends meet right now don't need another burden. Luckily, doing away with these fines will only be a fractional cut to the budget. We've been able to mitigate some of that through a grant uh, from Congressman Joe Morelli. We have changed some of the prices in the library, so a few other uh, value-added services have been increased by five or ten cents. All 11 Rochester libraries removed fines for their children and teens since their pilot program in 2017. In just three years, they saw a slow but steady increase of book circulation of almost two percent. Tonya Burton with Monroe County Libraries says one of the biggest critiques is this takes away a lesson in responsibility, but she says there's other ways a library can teach life lessons that don't involve a financial barrier. Teaching responsibility can be done with showing a kid, teaching them how to be responsible with the book, how to open the book, how to turn the pages so you don't rip them. Reporting, Eric Hatta Cost, News 8. All right, Eric Hatta, thank you. Around Decoit Library's pilot program will run for two years, although organizers hope it becomes permanent. The program begins on Monday.